Oh, it's, it's very cold today. What am I talking about? It's officially summertime, baby. Today on General Hospital, this is what happened. Today is going to be one of those rare updates where I do like a double update. Our internet went out. We had some sort of storm overnight on Friday, so we never watched it. Obviously, we ended up watching it. And here's what happened on Friday's episode. Uh, Brooklyn, uh, Olivia, Tracy, they're still crying about Ned. I mean, they're very worried about Ned. I mean, I would be worried about Ned. Um, Michael Chase in the hospital, on the hospital bench, talking about, like, Amelia and Willow and Brooklyn, uh, Willow and Sasha in the isolation room. They're talking about stuff like Nina and just other stuff, you know, a lot of talking. Uh, Sunny and Nina, uh, Dante was walking Leo. A lot about General Hospital today, a lot about Ned, a lot of random talking on Friday. So it was just stuff basically scattered everywhere. And everybody gets to see Ned. Wait, not everybody, but like Dante, Olivia, Brooklyn and Tracy, they got to see Ned, you know. Um, D Dr. Ashford, which is TJ, you know. Uh, Ned woke up. He finally woke up. I cannot wait for him to see his family again. I might need to take my statement back because Ned says, why am I in the hospital? Who are everybody in this room? And um, uh, TJ said, all right, what year is it? Ned said, 2023. TJ's like, well, what city are you in? Ned said, Port Charles, New York. Yeah, he's right. And everybody says, hooray. And TJ says, you're on the road to getting your health back. And Ned's like, what do you mean? And Tracy Brooklyn basically said, I'm your daughter. Olivia said, I'm your husband. Ned said, no. Why are you calling me Ned and I don't have a mother or daughter or wife? My name is Eddie Main. It's not Ned. All right, so this is an interesting story. Ned is calling himself Eddie Main. One time back in the 1990s when General Hospital was just like 30 years or more in the making, Ned joined, like in the storyline or something, Ned joined a rock tour and began calling himself Eddie, uh, Eddie Main, and he wanted to be a rock star. Eddie Main slash Ned Quartermain had no wife, no kids, no nothing. He was just a rock star. So there's this vi long video on YouTube where it shows he had like a cake showing up and somebody appeared out of it, Eddie Main's new wife, and she was like, Tell everybody that you're Eddie Main. Well, Eddie Main was Eddie Main was pretending to be Ned at the time. So it's an interesting story that now Ned thinks he's back to his normal self, Eddie Main. So a lot of that big last Friday. So today was a lot more. Sonny is asking Nina, where did your ring go? And Everybody knew Nita wasn't going to tell Sonny the truth. Nita said, well, it was something about a new deception pro uh, product. And I put my ring on the sink to try it out. And I accidentally knocked the ring in the, in the drain. I'm so sorry. I really miss that ring. I really lost it. Sonny said, all right, why would I care about you losing a ring? I'll just buy you another one. That's how Son." That's how rich Sonny is. That was probably a million dollar ring in a sewer. Wow. And Nia said, whoa, okay. And Sonny said, did you get the plumbers over or something? Nia said, no. Ava was calling Austin. She's still at uh, Sonny's apartment. This is today's episode. And the babysitter comes. And before Ava's going to leave, she's like, you left your magazine over and then Ava said, oh, thank you. I'm, I almost forgot it. Thank you very much. She picks it up and heads to meet Austin in Austin's office. And so then we saw that the babysitter 
for Avery and Donna while Sonny's gone. Um, notice that a drawer was open and she closed it and it looked like she was kind of getting suspicious of Ava. So Ava met with Austin. Austin said, did you get any evidence from Sonny? And Ava said, well, not really. And Austin said, well, really? Or like, he's wondering basically, did you find any evidence? Did, does any, is anybody catching you or did you get caught or is anybody suspicious of you? And Ava said, well, I feel like Sonny's babysitter is suspicious of me. When I left, she asked me, uh, or she told me I forgot my magazine. It sounded like she was suspicious about me, Austin. And Austin said, well, you need to ask Sonny to fire her. I forgot her name, but poor whoever she is. I mean, she's a babysitter to the Sonny Corinthos. Man, I hope you're getting paid well for that. Um, Austin also stopped Laura from leaving the hospital because she seemed a little dizzy and she told Austin she was going to a far, far away place to find her son, Nicholas Castine, as we all know, fan of General Hospital. So Austin said, no, 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 you can't do that. Laura had just told, had also just told Austin about an appointment she had because she was going to go to Russia. Tangia, I think it's Tangia. Tangia, Russia. And Austin said, you can't go to a faraway place if you were like, Basically, just checking your blood sugar, I think you should just stay at the hospital for a little. And then Ava and Austin meet. So, it's a long story. More than Ned, uh, Leo, without telling anybody, as he wasn't supposed to, he was going to go see his dad. And Eddie Main said, not to be rude, kid, but I never adopted you and I'm not your dad anyway. Leo said, yes, you are. I mean, Julian was my real dad, but you adopted me. Ned said, I will never adopt you, and I'm not your dad. And so Brooklyn came in. She's like, oh, Leo, you need to get out of here. And Leo ran like a tiger or a cheetah. He probably got scared, and everybody was arguing about who was going to go see Leo. Brooklyn said, I'll go get Leo. And Olivia said, no, no, I don't. I need to get Leo. Dante said, no, I think it's better. I'm his, I'm his brother. I should go get Leo. And Tracy was like, no, everybody, stop yelling. I'll go get Leo. I'm his grandmother. So she did find Leo sitting by the stairs. Not on, not on or by, like kind of like a shelf by it, playing with his fidget. And so Tracy said, let me tell you a story. Uh, Ned... At the Mitchell Court pool fell. He fell so hard on his head that he's confused. He doesn't recognize his family members. I'm so sorry, Leo. And the fidget was dropped, or Leo dropped his fidget. And Tracy said, oh, did I break it? I'll buy you a new one. Leo said, it's fine. It drops all the time. And they hugged. Grandmother and grandson, wow. That was such a good scene with Leo and Tracy. I'll give her 10 out of 10. Um, so Brooklyn told Sonny and Nina about Eddie Main. Uh, so a lot, it's a lot about Ned and, um, uh, last thing, I think. So, Zeke ran to Portia and he's trying to leave. Portia's like, whoa, 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 what are you hiding from me? What are you hiding from me? And Zeke was like, I can't tell you. And Portia was begging Zeke and begging Zeke and begging, begging, begging to tell her what Zeke was hiding because Portia's... Zeke's big sister. She can tell if Zeke's hiding something or not. And Zeke told Portia that Jordan kissed her ex-husband, Curtis, your your husband right now. Portia got mad. Here comes Curtis and Trina, who had just had a big conversation. Uh, Zeke and Trina were talking, and Trina knows that Zeke's hiding something from Trina. Trina made the classic excuse, and she's like, I need to go to the bathroom. And Zeke's like, no, 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 you can't do that. And also, Trina's begging Zeke to tell her, what are you hiding from me? Zeke said, it's between your mom and your dad, Portia and Curtis. Portia's going on a heck of fire with Curtis. She's just mad and mad and mad. I don't even know how Portia and Curtis's relationship could go on. 
And Curtis is trying to make excuses. If there's anything else I forgot, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching my video. Also, send a like, and I'm hoping you're enjoying Brian.